folks, as you can see from that intro, I'm shooting local. I'm at Ogden Water Nature Reserve. And we're actually on the main path at the minute. Got a big deer with me. This is his first time here, so I'm gonna show him one or two locations around this little area. But the sun has risen, it give out 100% fog. We have got a touch of fog just now drifting in. Like I said, we are on the main path. But I'll show you what we've got. As you can see, right up against the path there. But we have got the fog just coming over the hillside here, just drifting down. We've got the sun very muted, just hitting the trees there at the right side. So it is giving a, a bit of a warm, but yet a bit of a cold tone. There's a bit of mist just rising off the water as well. So yes, giving it a very, very surreal feeling as this. But I'll bother this first image up for you, because this wasn't as intended location yet. <laughs> But when we saw this walking down, it's just one of those scenes you've just got to shoot. So, yeah, I'll bob this one on for you. If we can get another from here, I'll bob that as well, as we'll continue to work his way up a little bit. But yeah, the water is nice and flat as well, so you're getting a bit of a reflection. So, yeah, very nice, nice start of images. This. Just as we're making his way up, up on the tops where the fog and stuff is at the minute, who can't resist a woodland, a nice little woodland path shot. So I was taking into account this tree on the left hand side, got the light in the background just coming through, so we've got a nice warm tones against the blue tone of the fog. So it's proving quite nice as this, we've got the path coming in from the right hand side, on the side up here, leading you all the way down. Just sweep a little bit. I've moved the camera over a touch. Because this tree on the right hand side, it, it just cuts off another one. So you haven't got the trees interlapping or all like that. There's a little lone tree at the back, you can just see coming round. And then we've got this little tree on the left hand side. Just past this big main tree, it's anchoring that left hand side. So it's more blocking the left hand side off. So yeah, it's forcing your eye down the path. So yeah, what I'll do, I'll bother this one up now. Because we're going a little bit, a little bit higher to get the make the most of this fog. Look at this all around here. Just can't get to get, seem to get anything to work around here though. It's just a bit too cluttered and messy with all the fallen branches and stuff like that. Looks very nice, very nice indeed. So the luminous on the green, it's fantastic, but I just can't get anything through the trees because there's too many fallen branches and that at the minute. As you can hear, the babbling brook is just down there, so, but we're going up. Try and get, look at this, you'll see the, Backdrop there, the hills, the trees rather, the tree there, but it's just, yeah, it's a low wine fog, is this? So, yeah, we'll see what we can gather anyway. Might actually get the telephoto on and just try and pick a few little bits and bits of that, but that's one for later. We're getting up to make the most of it. Right, peeps, we are still making our way up. However, we've come across this little scene behind us, this old tree that's fallen down. But it does sneak around, but the only reason I stopped is because the sun is right in between this archway. I've done two versions, I've cut, the arch, cut that top part out, so it's just the light coming down behind these trees. It is quite wide, about 26 mil. And I've also included the top part of the tree where it sort of arches round at the top. Just because it, it was arching round the sun at the time. It is nice and muted now, so. I'm going to bracket it, just to be on the safe side. But what I'll do, I'll put both versions up. And I might even do a vertical as well. Just incorporating the main part of this tree. Leading out with all the light behind it. So yeah, making use of the fog that keeps coming and going. And this diffused light at the minute. So it's, yeah, it's turning quite an interesting morning, is this?
bit peeps, we have made it up to the giant's tooth, which is just here. But as you can see, the sun is up and about now, but we have got rolling fog. We've got fog over there. And we're making his way over to these trees here. One looks to have come down a little bit. It's got a bit of, um, yeah, a bit of damage in the middle. So it's gonna be quite tricky, is this, to shoot it. But when I get over there, I'll bob it back on anyway. I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, look what we're saying. We've got the middle part of this, that's come down. Obviously in all the high winds and stuff what we've had. Which is a bit unfortunate because it's quite nice that because it gives you the three branches. However, coming back here, it now gives us another option. As you've just seen, it is framing that other tree right in the middle. So I think that could be one of his first shots because if all this fog carries on, look, we've got this abundance of weird and wonderful trees by us. But you do need fog. You need fog round here to give that separation because this is hard. But that's going to be his first competition just there. So once I get set up, I'll come back to you. Right peeps, I've got some of the composition now. All that has been tweaking is, I did put the drone up, try and get above the fog, see if we can get the wind turbines behind us, but no, they're covered in it. It is patchy fog, as you'll see with this image now, of the reservoir. The reservoir is totally open, but there's fog all the way around it, so yeah, let me know about this image that I'll put up now for you. But this one now, got it framed, so, the tree on the right hand side that's fallen down is just out of the way at the minute but this one now with the branches yeah it's framing this one very nice it probably will be a square crop or I might even do a vertical just to get all these all dead bracken and that in the foreground and the heather and stuff just so it gives it a little bit of colour so yeah I'll bob this up now let me know what you think because where we are at the minute the fog is lifting so yeah it's even though there's fog behind us, there's nothing where we are now. So I'll bob this one now for you. Very muted, bluish, hazy sky. And then I'll put a, a vertical orientation on for you. Right, peeps. Using that same tree as what we've just been doing, I've come for a more complex scene. You've seen the simple one, nicely framed. This is going to be framed again, but with something totally different. Got an old stump on the floor, another tree coming over it, the tree with the forks that you've just seen framed on the right hand side, and then the main focus tree in the middle, and there's also another set group of trees just appearing in the background. So I'll bring you around here, you can see what I mean. Right, as you can see, I don't want to stand on this grass because I've got this grass part of in the composition. I've got this old fallen tree here. These up to the one that comes over, onto the two pronged one, and then there's focus tree in the background and then there's another grouping of trees. So hopefully, a bit more of a complex scene, side with a simple image, worked onto a complicated one. So yeah, let me know, if, know your thoughts below, which, yeah, which you prefer. I do like simple images, but I also like testing myself, try to get something out of a very complicated scene. So yeah, but what I'll do, I'll bob this one on next for you. The unfortunate thing with all the weather we've had around here is that this part where I am now used to be full of dead trees but look they've all come down all down this side here so it is worth when you see a location make the most of it no matter what the weather just like we're going to do this morning we've got that one up there obviously that branch had come down in the middle because it used to be a nice three-pointed branch did that but walking down here now look there's a bit more open space 
for the fog to get in. But where we are, no fog. <laughs> and normally if it gets a one for fog out up here, it is 100% fog, no matter what. So I'm just gonna have a little mooch round up here. See what I can find, because this one here is very interesting, but it's just trying to get something that could work. I mean, it might work from round here, but I'll get the camera anyway and have a look. We have got the light coming through now, but all round here, look, all this is a very interesting part of the woodland up here. So yeah, it's gonna be quite hard just to try and get something separated, but you know us, we try and try. So yeah, let me get the camera and we'll see what we can do. I've got another one with you, but the sun is out. The, yeah, the fog has fogged off, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> but just while we're here, obviously seeing all these dead fallen trees and stuff, it is quite hard to get any separation at all. But with the grassy mounds up here, they're still glistening from that frost this morning. So I'm trying to make use of that on the bottom third. And I'm on an F5.6, just so I can diffuse that background a little bit. We have got another frame. It's all about framing this week, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, framing the images because, I'll bring you around here. As you can see just there, we've got this one comes over. That's his main subject just there. I'm using all this foreground just here. I'll put it through the back of the camera, then you can see. There we go. That's roughly the composition there. It will, I will try and cut that sky out a little bit. Because obviously I didn't want any sky in at all on this, with it being a woodland image. But I'm only a little short ass, I can't get high enough. <laughs> but if I do get high enough, I lose the separation as well. Because that branch comes down over the top of it, so it is a bit of a compromise. Whether it works or not, I don't know. But for me, it's more of a scouting image is this. Because we were hoping for the thick fog this morning. But it didn't materialise, did it? So, I bought this on my junk now for you anyway. We're going to have a little wonder on his way down. Just see what else we can find around here. Right then, peeps. Walking along this edge that we've just been showing you, we've come across this very complex scene but i am in at what about 35 mil at minute just on one part of it just while that sun's coming out a little bit it is still diffusing the background but just try to work and work it just work, walking on here it looks like i could possibly get four maybe five images out of one little area but anyway what we are doing we are using the daz has just hit the nail on the head these ankle breakers these little tufts so with the, the frost just dissipating now, it is glistening in the sun, giving a nice little foreground up to the edge of this woodland, which goes deeper and deeper dark. The sun is very muted. We have got a bit of haze coming and going. So it's getting a touch of atmosphere. I'm at what, one at F6.7 at a minute, just trying to diffuse the background and also manually focusing just on one tree at a minute. Normally I use autofocus, but I've autofocused then tweaked it with the manual just to get it right because I think there could be quite a few different versions around here. But anyway, what I'll do, I'm going to work the scene a little bit more and the images I get from this little area just by working it. Yeah, fingers crossed, you'll see three or four images next. another rather interesting subject <laughs> obviously we're still in the woodland we have literally what 50 100 yards from where we were before 
but the sun is up now it's burning everything off so we're losing that bit of atmosphere we have however still got a tiny bit of haze in the woodland itself so i would say this morning we were up on that top bit hoping the fog off the off the moor side will come in but it never did but this little composition here we have got a twisty gnarly tree it looks to i don't know it looks weird it's got like a hollow point in the middle but also the sun coming down from the top we are getting a bit of dappled light as well coming through composition wise i have got the tree on the left hand side and the light is ju it just hitting the firs bit bit of fir tree on the right it has got its little pinnacles still just holding on and they're just glistening so yeah hopefully with this light being muted i might be able to do something with it but again it's going to be a scouting shot because just at my left or oh, your right we've got some nice little trees covered in <laughs> covered in moss but i'll show I'll turn around and show you but these are going to be hard because they're all tightly compact but look around here all, all this little moss and that round here look so whether i can get anything in here i don't know because these are quite young trees so just be careful not to disturb any of this moss because it takes forever to grow does this but look at all this round here there we go look but anyway that's for a bit if i do get anything around there i'll bob that on at the end so there we go you can see the arch of that tree from this side so i might even try and shot round here but we'll have to get close up against there just to see what that's like but you can see now it's all it's all twisted and everything going round so yeah that's his main subject which i think is going to be possibly our last shot of the day let's put it back down a minute so yeah so what i'll do I'll probably get a couple from round here so i'll end with all the final images forget any of that moss which i don't think i will do because they are all young trees so there's nothing twisty and gnarly but it's just yeah it's just nice to see the moss appearing back in this woodland so yeah as i just said i'll leave you all with the final images if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it is very local to me is this it's only five minutes down the road so if you want to ever want to come just give me a shout and I'll come up here with you and whatnot, show you where bits and bats are. So yeah, give us a thumbs up as always. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, the Photo Peeps Facebook group, no doubt Daz will put some of his images on there. So hop over there, you can see some of his images. I'll see you on the next one. So bye for now. <laughs>